fun and useful application. The iPhone, when you buy it, it doesn't have um, message forwarding, business card sending, group sending, um, what else? Saving the text messages. There's this application called SMSD, and it's actually the application that will take care of your forwarding, group sending, um, templates, um, searching your message database. So SMSD actually fills in a lot of the shortcomings that Apple didn't give to us with the default SMS app. There's also an app called Sketches, which basically allows you to um, um, draw stuff. And, you know, and then it's like an etch -a sketch If you shake it, it erases. There's also an app called iPhysics. iPhysics is one of the favorite games of all app, uh, iPhone owners. You need to um, make um, shapes so that you'll bring the ball from one place to another. And it uses the laws of physics such as gravity or um, levers. So the things that you learn in science when you were young, you're going to be able to apply it. There's also this app called Photoboard, which basically allows you to um, play um, play with your photos in a multi-touch way. So it allows you to twist the photo, shrink it, enlarge it, just like in uh, Minority Report. So you can get you can get the photos, show it to, show off to your friends. Na, okay, enlarge, and then when you want to arrange the photos, just press the button and it will actually arrange itself. There's this application called Locate Me, and it's actually like GPS. How it works is you, uh, you turn it on, and you show in map, and it will show you in the Google map where we are. There's also an application called TuneWiki. TuneWiki allows you to play a song in your in your iPhone, in the iPod part, and then get the lyrics. It's like a video, okay? And all you need to do is be connected to the internet, and you can sing it, and the lyrics will show up. Here again are the top stories for today, January 30.